What's up guys? It is I, once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and welcome to the very first part of my Let's Play on Eco. Now guys, this game and I, we go way, way back. This was the game that started it all for me and both my channel and the game that got me back into gaming. This was a game that was recommended to me by my older brother and my younger brother and this game, Eco and uh, Shadow Colossus right here they are both games which I consider and many consider to be among the great games that define what true art and gaming is and this game guys is so amazing you have to experience it for yourself I highly recommend you play it on the PS3 uh, HD collection which is I think available but I'll be playing through Eco first before I go to Shadow Colossus and right now there's a song playing called You Were There and for Shadow Colossus it's like a different type of uh, uh, it's, like a, it's more ambient, it, it's not actually singing but in the case of Eco there is actually a song, You Were There, which is so amazing and the soundtrack in general is amazing it's directed by Fumito Ueda and uh, created by Team Eco and they, their inspiration for this game was actually Another World, which is also a great game I really love. But enough about that, let's get straight to Eco. There we go. Now there's going to be a opening cinematic. I want you guys to watch it and the audio should be on by now. Go cut out later. Japan Studio. Uh, blueprint. There we go. And the opening will explain some bit of the story, so here we go. Enjoy. Eco. Wow. This brings back a lot of memories. This game is known by some as Aiko, but the proper name is Eco, which is how you pronounce it in Japanese. E double E and C O Eco. Here we go. That's the uh, castle in the mist.
or just adjusting the audio. Guys, I, I'm sorry, I just forgot how amazing the atmosphere in this game was. Look at this, the scale, the atmosphere, the fact the camera is focused more on the surroundings of this young boy whose name is Eco, the uh, title character. Now at the beginning you won't get any tutorial on how to play the game, you have to figure it out on your own. Basically, you kind of experiment, you figure out what to do and all that kind of stuff. I know what to do, so I'm just going to go over here, jump on this uh, lever. I think it's square. I think, you know, it's a circle. Now, it could be circle because my console, I think, is probably Japanese uh, made, but uh, for North American, I think it's X. I'm not really sure how that works, but it might be the other way around. I'm not, I don't really know, but uh, it's quite a amazing game that requires patience, time, and it's a short game, by the way. It's not really that long, but it's a really great game. One of my all-time favorites. Now, a lot of people love uh, Shadow of the Colossus a lot more. I'm among the minority that do prefer uh, Eco over uh, Shadow of the Colossus and uh, it's just my personal opinion but I really do think that Eco is the game, sorry, Eco is the game that defines uh, what art in games can be. Now 
I was supposed to jump, except I just uh, forgot the controls. Let me try. Let me just uh, go down here and. Uh, so how do you swing again? I think you you need to uh, do something. Oh yeah, uh, triangle. Good. There we go. And uh, up we go. Now I uh, go up here. Oh yes, I can. My God, I might uh, screw up sometimes. So <sighs> bear with me. Now. Uh, what do we do here? Oh, right, we need uh, uh, Yorda. You guys will find out who Yorda is. She's uh, kind of mixed with the uh, people who play the game for the first time. But for people who are fans of the game, I'm not sure what their thoughts on Yorda is. Because when you get to her in this uh, part of the game, you will find out exactly why she's a bit mixed with some people. Some hate her, some love her, and others they're like, meh, like that, you know? But I think she's one of the best uh, female characters in gaming for me. I mean, I recognize the flaws in her character and how you have to basically escort her from place to place, but uh, I still think she's a very cool, awesome character. Plus, uh, Oh man, I, I actually knew someone once who wanted to roleplay as Yorda, and that was kind of funny. But I can see a lot of cosplays of this character, and Eco for that matter. <laughs> then again, Japanese games are awesome. Oh yeah. Now up we go. Here, here, here. And, uh... The language, it sounded kind of French because the game is voiced by Japanese voice actors, yet what they did is they reversed the language backwards, so it sounds more French than it does uh, Japanese. And uh, Uida actually confirmed this, that uh, it sounds more French because of the fact they reversed the language backwards. I think it's really cool because uh, at the moment I'm uh, learning French which is uh, I'd like to say my third language after English and Arabic but let's open this door down she goes so uh, we uh, need to follow should I jump? I don't think that's a good idea. No, 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 no. I might have done a leap of faith, but I would be dead. Oh, yeah. Let's go up here. Uh, up we go. I, if you guys have a, a issue with the audio, please let me know because I know that uh, adjusting the sound for the camera, my voice, and the game will be kind of tough, but if you guys have any advice or suggestions, I'm always hoping to listen, and if uh, I'm doing good, then thank you. But let's go down here, good. Oh man. I'll try to keep quiet more because in my last, in my uh, first playthrough ever, which is this game, which I deleted, uh, I talked quite a lot and that there was a lot of problems with that uh, let's play and uh, I thought why not just do a, uh, not a redo of the let's play on Eco all over again. I was like, yeah, why not? So here we are. Now we just go down this uh, ladder and uh, I think we should, yeah, we need to go over here and uh, we'll uh, free the girl, Yorda. 
I really can't wait for you guys to uh, see how the story unfolds. And uh, once again, please play the game for yourself. It's really awesome. But here we go. Pick the, the uh, torch up, attack this shadow creature. These things will try to capture Yorda, and you need to protect her from going down that muck thing, this tar pit over here. And uh, if she goes all the way down, you'll turn the stone and game over. But let's pick up Yorda. I think it's circle. No, it's triangle. I think it's. How do you hold her hand again? Oh yeah, oh wait, no, sorry, sorry about that. Um, uh, is it X? Uh, you need to pick her up. Oh yeah, I remember R1, I think. I think it's R1, yeah? There we go. The language is definitely French. I'm pretty certain about that. But it sounds kind of French, but basically right now you have to hold her hand like this. You have to always drag her around and sometimes she'll wander around from place to place. She will follow if you call out to her like this. Or if you just like... En soi, I don't know what that means, but it's a language for this game. Now, Echo's and Yorda's dialogue are very... Uh, it's like there's like a huge language barrier between them. And... Uh, It's hard for them. It's hard for them to communicate. And what Yora just did now is opening this gate with a power which she has, which explains why she was in that prison to begin with. And uh, Eco feels the need to save her, which is admir admirable of him. Now we need to go up here. And. Uh, Always keep her close to you and hold her hand. Don't uh, leave her in one place or far away. Oh man. Look at this. God damn, this game is gorgeous. Now, this right here is your save hub. And she's pointing at the chair because it has a sort of symbolic meaning, but it's basically a checkpoint where you save. Well guys, this was the first part of uh, what's going to be an awesome let's play on Eco, one of my favorite games of all time. I hope you enjoy. Please uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Please play the game. I highly recommend it. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time guys, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.